Welcome, welcome. Today is September the 1st, almost the end of the summer. And uh, today we are super excited because we want to show you how to make sure your hard earned marketing campaign traffic does not get lost in the GA4 shuffle. So let's get started. Okay. This is what we will be discussing today. Real life examples of problematic or lost campaign traffic affecting your marketing performance and future budgets. Then I will show you how to understand where the issue came from. Next, we will see how easy the new GA4 platform makes it for you to set up your campaign traffic and tracking correctly. And last but not least, I'll cover six reasons why your traffic gets lost in the GA4 shuffle and how to prevent these issues in the future. Okay, first, I will start with a real life example where I will show you how to troubleshoot any examples of your campaign traffic being lost. I will go to my Google Analytics platform here. I will click on acquisition and user acquisition. And what I did here was I selected the default channel group. First user default channel group. And when you selected, I entered here the word unassigned and it gave me, it gave me here traffic that ended up as being unassigned. If I remove this, obviously you're going to see uh, my entire traffic here. Okay. And here is the unassigned at number five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow my search to unassigned only because I want to remove the rest of the traffic buckets. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search here by campaign. And I am going to do session campaign. And what is going to happen now is Google Analytics is going to show me which campaigns resulted in this unassigned traffic. And as you can see, it appears that my LinkedIn ads here, which is a lot of traffic, and considering that LinkedIn probably costs somewhere around $1.50 to $2, $3 a click, it's a lot of investment here, and it ended up having a lot of conversions, it is really not very good that, you know, this important traffic, this important campaign traffic is going to go into unassigned and ultimately will prevent me from tracking um, important user performance and um, attributing this com campaign to um, any of my successes down the road. So... Um, I can also see that unassigned traffic came from booking demos from my main site, and I also have other issues like not set, etc. So the first thing that I need to do here is I want to change to medium and source, um, and it is important to do that because I want to understand what went wrong. And when I click that, um, I can see that there is something wrong with the way I have assigned my source and medium. So my session source shows that it's LinkedIn, which is great. And my medium shows that it's social PPC. So what went wrong? Well, there is uh, a reason that Google Analytics gives you a default channel traffic grouping explanation, which you need to follow if you want to make sure that your medium and source are configured correctly. And I will share uh, a link to this uh, guide after our live stream ends. But here is the guide. 
So basically, if you go to the guide here, it shows you that in paid social, you need the source to match a regex list of social sites and medium matches regex. Da, 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 da. Well, this is super complicated for me. I don't understand it. Okay. So I don't know what I did wrong. Luckily, there is this page here, which is called regexer.com. So what I did was I copied this gobbledygook expression and I pasted it here. And then I started testing very easily by just typing PPC or paid search, etc. And what this tool showed me real quick was that, hey, you know what? I did social PPC and I should have done either paid social or CPC social because Social PPC apparently doesn't need doesn't meet Google Analytics's requirements for traffic. And that is why Google ended up putting my hard earned campaign clicks into the unassigned traffic and preventing me from being able to, you know, claim any of the leads that I can generate in future to be attributed to this campaign. You know? So what, what's next? I mean, the next issue that I saw was with my directory, with my um, demo here, which is coming from my website. So this is the demo, schedule a demo here, right? And unfortunately, for some reason, Google doesn't like that either because it is unassigned. So what went wrong with this? I mean, my session source is correct. I have like my website name here, but the medium is owned web. And owned web, you know, no matter how, you know, I search this, I cannot find a default medium like that. Okay, that is the reason why the default channel here is giving me this lack of assignment. One way to fix this, if you have your own custom mediums, is you can go into the analytics part that covers your channel groups and you can create your own campaign mediums. And by creating your own campaign mediums, you can uh, address some of, uh, some of these things. And it's very easy to do as long as you have um, an admin access. But generally, if you are using the default channel, it is really, really best to follow the GA4 instructions into how to set up your sources and mediums. Now, the third example of an issue is when you have a not set. Not set means that you either didn't have any source or you didn't have any medium and that created an issue for you. Another example here is you can see social PPC. I mean, it's clearly wrong. It should have been PPC social, but the medium and source have been swapped actually here. Another example is when your session source is in place, but you forgot to put your medium, okay? So as you can see, these errors are the reason why your Google Analytics platform might misplace your campaign clicks, or you can really, really lose the opportunity to attribute any conversions, um, you know, to your specific campaigns that you worked very, very hard for. So let's recap what could be the reasons for your issues. So you could have a missing medium. Then the traffic is going to be sent to your direct traffic because there is no way uh, for Google Analytics to um, assign where the traffic came from. It sets your medium as not set and boom, you lost your campaign traffic. Incorrectly worded medium, the example with the regex. Okay, then medium and source are swapped out. You have just, you know, changed the uh, wording of the medium. UTM medium is LinkedIn feed and UTM source is PPC and it should have been the other way around. You are using a shortener that wipes out all your UTMs. There are such shorteners, yes. Or you are actually 
shortening your links without making sure that you put in UTMs to them first. And let me give you a, a very specific example here, right? So basically, this is in 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 HubSpot. I'm using uh, there. We're not allowed to use the uh, campaign track, the shortener, for example, if we're using HubSpot. So I'm using the um, HubSpot um, shortener. It's automatic. Any link that you enter here automatically gets shortened. So if I'm using my UTM source link, which means that I went to my blog here, um, I grabbed the link and I um, added all of the required, uh, oops, I'm not logged in. Um, but if I log in here um, in my automated extension, um, I will be um, allowed to grab the link automatically and then I can uh, do, um, let's say, social and I can click my Twitter, etc. and I can uh, generate my link. I then can go to HubSpot, enter this link, and even though HubSpot will shorten it when it publishes the uh, the post, I will be able to still see the tracking information here in place. And Google Analytics will still be able to attribute um, all of the clicks that are coming as a result of this social post to this particular campaign. But look what happens if I use the HubSpot shortener without adding UTM links before. So HubSpot says, hey, you know what? Twitter is doing great. You got 76 clicks, which is amazing. But then I go to Google Analytics and Google Analytics disagrees and it says, you know, you only have one click here. 76, one. What is happening is I am not adding UTM tracking tags to my social posts. And as a result, you know, all of my clicks, hard earned clicks, because it's it takes time to create the, the blog, the polls, the images, everything in place. And at the end of the day, there is no attribution here. You know, so this is another reason we should be very careful. And then last, last thing is, you know, you're either using diligently everything, your UTM source and your UTM medium and everything in place, but it doesn't meet the GA4 requirements and your traffic still gets lost. Or you you use UTM source and UTM medium correctly, but your UTM campaign is missing, right? So here are these like most common six reasons that marketers really, really work hard, but something happens and at the end, they're unable to um, get the attribution they deserve for their campaigns. Um, okay, so how do we fix this? Very, very quickly, and we are almost uh, uh, at time. So use an automated UTM tagging tool. This is very, very important because it will make sure that it gives you the opportunity to have templates in place and all the rules that will prevent you from missing uh, the option to add your source, medium, and campaign, which are required. And if you're doing paid ads, it will even throw in the required campaign ID, which is very, very important, especially if you want to merge your campaign ads data from LinkedIn, Facebook, and other tools into your Google Analytics. Another way to fix the issues is set up your UTM. M library correctly to meet GA4 expectations. Make sure that you follow the default channel guide. If you are unsure like me and struggling to understand these regular expressions, just use regexter.com to see and make sure and, and, and double kind of check every single medium uh, and channel that you uh, set up in place to make sure that it works. And then Always, always track your marketing campaigns using UTMs. It is really, really important to do that because I know this is the last step. I know sometimes we're super busy um, and we forget to add those UTMs, but this is a mandatory requirement if you really want to have a good standardized, high quality reporting that actually highlights and showcases, you know, all of your hard efforts as a marketer. And last but not least, add UTMs to your links even if you are using a URL shortener, because remember the UT URL shortener, no matter which shortener you're using, will just grab the original link the way it is and create a redirect for it. So if it's missing UTMs, 
UGMs are never going to find their way into your Google Analytics platform, which means, again, you are losing all the attribution. Okay, and I think I was able to cover all these examples in less than 16 minutes. Thank you, everybody, for your time to watch us today. Cassie, do we have any questions? Amazing. Yes. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have an amazing weekend and we hope to see you soon. Bye.